Hello everyone, we have a special tech short for you today. This has to do with COVID-19 scams. So what's happening is um, there are scammers that are calling, sending text messages, or um, finding ways to communicate with you. And uh, what they're trying to do is convince you that there is an issue, such as you may have been exposed. Then, once they have your attention, they try to scam you by saying that you have to pay for a test. And if you don't pay for the test, then they can take uh, legal action. So this is um, running rampant right now. And uh, it's starting to take off in this area. So um, be very careful about what's happening. So let's talk about this in a little bit more detail. First of all, uh, there is no um, charge necessarily for getting tested for COVID-19. Uh, around the city, there are um, places you can go to get free testing done, or um, you can get it done through your um, own insurance company through certain um, medical areas but the key thing is if you get a message or a call telling you that you need to get tested and that they are going to send you the test that is an immediate red flag so beware of uh, things like that so here are some of the things to look out for um, do not give out personal, private information through a phone call or a text message, especially if you cannot verify the source. Um, be careful about uh, anyone trying to offer um, cures or um, testing kits being sent to your home, uh, even for antibodies. Um, these are in most I'd say 99% of the cases not legitimate. Um, always, you know, go through your physician or another trusted healthcare provider um, whenever you're uncertain about these types of things. Uh, never just take it at face value. And um, you know, if you're getting like a strange number and the person's talking to you and they're being really pushy, uh, that's a good sign that it's not legitimate, it's a scam, and that you need to just hang up immediately. Uh, the FCC also reports the same kind of things. Uh, scam texts, uh, robocalls, um, tracing scams. Now, there is tracing software out there to try to help inform people if they may have um, come into contact with someone who uh, had has coronavirus, but again, um, don't take it completely at face value. Try to get some sort of confirmation. You know, ask somebody who uh, is more knowledgeable uh, if this is something that is, seems legitimate. And when I say more knowledgeable, I don't mean you know your next door neighbor, unless your next door neighbor is a you know doctor or somebody in the know. So uh, be careful out there. Uh, don't lose money. Don't lose your time and effort over these things. Um, take a look at this box really quick. Uh, that's a, a sample text message that is a scam. Uh, if you want to look more into this and uh, inform yourself, uh, this website is fcc.gov slash COVID dash scams. And then the other website is... Um, from the Office of the Inspector General. Again, um, looking at coronavirus uh, fraud alert. So protect yourself, be careful out there, and um, stay safe, everybody. Thank you.